This episode is brought to you by Shopify. That's the sound of switching your business to Shopify, the global commerce platform that supercharges your selling. Harness the best converting checkout and same intuitive features, trusted apps, and powerful analytics used by the world's leading brands. Stop leaving sales on the table. Discover why millions trust Shopify to build, grow, and run their business. Sign up today for your $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash tech23. Okay, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T Moss Boss Show. Yeah, I got into I got into it with a K-pop fan. I knew eventually this day will happen. I will get into it. I think the argument is uh, it's over now. But yeah, I, I pretty much just got them caught up in everything that they were saying to me. I think the only thing that they got me on was that uh, I messed up on a word. I was I was uh, typing so fast, I didn't even realize I misspelled the word. And so, yeah, overall, that was the only thing that they got me on. Then they tried to crack a little uh, trolling joke on me. And I'm like, that's not what this is. Like, how old are you right now? Like, At first, we were having an intellectual conversation. Then you start throwing that at me and stuff. And I'm like, okay, well, I know where this conversation is going, but... Anyways, yeah, it's like K-pop fans. I just don't know why they think that everybody and she pretty much just said it. She pretty much like she pretty much just like she nailed it. She put it like right there for me to see the whole truth. The only reason why they do that is because they want those K-pop videos to get views. There's no real reason why they share those K-pop videos. They only do it to get views. That's it. That's the only reason why. There ain't no hidden message or hidden agenda when they share those videos. They only do it for views. And they know when a person's scrolling through some hashtag or they're scrolling through some trend, then they know that, um, yeah, they're going to watch that video. Then then it was funny because she goes and uh, she was all like, kept saying like, oh, we do it to promote awareness for like some things out there i'm like don't nobody care about no k-pop video if i click on a freaking jim carrey is trending on twitter or if i click on uh uh lil nas x because he might have some new music coming out or uh what else a new movie they might be posting a trailer to a new movie on youtube and it's trending on there they will post a k-pop dancing video for any reason on there and then they were trying she was trying to say oh this is the reason why overall just some old dumb reasons and i'm like you k-pop these k-pop fans like they'll be the only fans where it's like i just i can't apologize for anything that i say to you guys i really can't because you guys you just can't take the hint like you can't take the idea like don't nobody care about those videos and she's trying to argue and then saying that i'm dedicating my whole account on hating on uh k-pop i've all right in the recent like what since last month and a little bit this month that's the only time i think i've talked about k-pop videos if i did maybe it might have been a little bit towards the end of july but i don't have any memory of myself talking about k-pop videos no memory whatsoever up until maybe the end of uh july Definitely at some point in time in August and a little bit this month, September. But no other memories or moments I think I ever did talk about K-pop videos. If I did, I don't remember. So somebody's going to have to bring that to my awareness that I talked about them at a previous time. But it had to have been over the same reason and stuff. And I was like, man, them K-pop videos. I was like, I actually had was like scrolling through my tweets now, when I was, um, because I was, like, posting a crap ton of memes on my, uh, T-Moss Boss meme channel. I have seven YouTube channels, by the way, just to throw that out there. One of them is, uh, called T-Moss Boss Memes. But, um, yeah, I was posting a crap ton of videos on there. And I came across a tweet where I was, like, I had favorited and retweeted a K-pop video. I undid all of that. I undid all of that. Just because of how annoying K-pop videos are. Like, that's where I'm like, I don't even want to see the videos. But it's like, it gives me, like, 
I wouldn't even call it a headache. Like, what do you... Like, it's just like a bad feeling, I guess. Like, it's equivalent to a bad feeling. But I, I feel a certain way when I see a K-pop video. It's not that I'm disgusted, but I... And it's not like I feel bad, but I'm like... I watch those videos and I'm just all like, why, why did I have to see this? Like, I'm just like, I'm like, I, I, I don't know. Like, I wouldn't really call it end up like me being upset, but I'm just all like, man, like, it's like, I've been fooled. Like I've, I've been hagged. I've been bamboozled. All right. Led astray. Like I've been like, yeah, I, I feel like that that's overall like what it is. But yeah, I'm like, when I see those videos, I'm like, man, I just, it's annoying. But anyways, um, yeah, those K-pop videos. What was even out? What was I even talking about? This girl might have like said something. No, she hasn't said anything. Actually, I was like, I know I had, um, I made some tweets today, and one's going viral. It actually it took off a little slow, but no, it's going um viral. I guess this uh this um DJ he was up on on stage eating uh eating a woman's um buttocks. Yeah, that's that's what that man was doing. I was I was trying to be like. PG about it, but nope, he, well, actually, I can't be PG about it. He was having sexual relations with a woman that involved him. I, I, I shouldn't even get in detail of what he did, but yeah, I, I said it already. Man was eating, uh, man was eating buttocks on stage, and it was kind of like, wow. Like, I, I seen it, and I'm like, I, how do I feel about this? Like, I, I don't I don't understand like does he know that woman like is that his wife or girlfriend or something like I I feel like that that's the only time when that should be allowed but no I don't I don't think so I I honestly don't think I think that was a random woman I couldn't have done that mm -mm, nope but I don't know that woman like even if like I I had to like this this she has to like a girlfriend a wife you know somebody that I have like been with for some time now. Like, I, I know for a fact, like, she, and, and, and she has to, like, some baby wipes. Like, no, you're going to have to, if we doing this little stunt for the people, because people are weird like that, you have to sit there, okay, for an hour, all right? Make sure you can use the bathroom, like, don't eat nothing gassy or anything, because it, it takes one time for her to fart in my face, like, and that just, as weird as it sounds, saying it out loud, but knowing my luck, some crap like that will happen. And I would have to flip that whole um, DJ table over. Like, I'm like, nope. Like, that that actually just sent, like, a shiver in my mouth. Because I'm like, if that would have happened to me, I'm like, bruh, I I can no longer. That That's an automatic L for the whole year. That is an automatic L for the whole year. You can't come back from that whatsoever. You just, you just cannot come back from that. But, um, anyways, that was one of the tweets that I made talking about that. But, uh... Where was the tweet where she started? Yeah, she started off with these, like, dumb videos and stuff. And then... Oh, okay. So here's, I think, the start of it. So I had said... Oh, okay. So that's what I said. So they was all like... So on Twitter today, they said they had a hashtag called Things We Should Cancel. I said, K-pop videos that has nothing to do with the trend I click on. And I should just read off all the tweets. Should I just read off all the tweets? I think I'm going to read off all the tweets, okay? Just just to keep the podcast going and stuff. I might skip some tweets. I, actually, no, no. I'm a, I'm a, I think I might just read all the tweets. But anyways, then she said, at least we mind our own business instead of hating on people who post videos of their faves. Then she sent me a screenshot of some account. Oh, so she sent me a screenshot of a K-pop fan account that said, Things we should cancel: homophobia, homophobia, xenophobia, racism, transphobia, and like a bunch of other like phobia stuff. And anyone who doesn't believe in climate change. And so yeah, that that was her response. And then my response to that was, "No, you guys don't mind your own business. You post about everything and post cringy videos along with it." Lol, stop playing with me. Like. I said that, and then she replied back saying, I know, right? Forget, for, I forgot Twitter was invented only for locals. She called me the locals, I don't know how many times. And I'm like, I know for a fact you don't live in Washington State. You don't even seem like the type of person that, I mean, well, then again, 
No, no, I no, I take back what I was gonna say. I no, she does she you do not live next door to me. I don't even know why she kept she just they're out there like that's how she what she referred to me to. I'm like, I don't know if I should take offense to that or what, but yeah, she called me locals multiple times and then posted like this like cringy dance video of this guy dancing in like a white suit. Like it's just man, like those videos are so cringy, but then I said, it's also not a raid of K-pop videos, referring to Twitter, like, you're not supposed to raid Twitter with K-pop videos and stuff, man. And it says, don't nobody care about these people dancing, they don't even care about themselves dancing. That's what I had said. And then she replied back, with the same video, there is also a raid of racism, homophobia, xenophobia, and many more, but you decide to get mad at videos, idol, dancing, videos idols dancing lmao but okay see here's the thing right i've dealt with racism on the internet it is not as annoying than clicking like okay if i were to click on the trend racism and then i start seeing a bunch of people dancing to k-pop music that's more annoying than being called the n-word i almost i think i had almost said that at some point in time i'm like i would rather get called the n-word than to see a bunch of videos of random people dancing to K-pop music. I almost that. What did I say? Okay, okay. So I, I, I so I, I was getting ready to tweet that out, but then I took it away, and then I had replied saying, "Okay, then explain to me what does a video of a person dancing has anything to do with the stuff you just listened?" So I had made a mistake, and I did not put listed. I put listened, and so uh, she corrected me and said listed. And I say, you overall know what I'm saying. You didn't even answer my question. And so then she said, we just want views. So I'm like, she overall, yeah, she she exposed all K-pop fans. Like, they're not doing it to for any other reason besides the fact that they want to promote the uh, people in K-pop music and things. Like, they're done. Like, I honestly, what I feel like is that, uh, like, K-pop, like, that whole genre, it's, like, becoming MySpace doesn't nobody doesn't care about k-pop music nobody besides these k-pop fans and there's like the last few fans trying to hold um hold on but i give it maybe i maybe a few months maybe next year and i think honestly k-pop music if it's still like going on then i'm seriously i'm i, I will make it my duty to make sure that k-pop no longer exists on the internet like i mean i overall want these guys to have a career but i just don't want it to be with every trend like i will come out with something all right to just prevent k-pop music from just being raided all over social media for no reason and stuff and so she said we just want views and we think it's funny how you get mad over a simple video and stuff i get mad because if i click on so they're talking about hurricane dorian if I click on Hurricane Dorian, I don't want to see some person in K-pop music named Dorian dancing and spinning around there like the only hurricane we care about. Who cares about that person, man? Like, nobody. I'm trying to see if these people over in the, uh, like, yeah, Florida are seeing if they're okay and things. I don't care about no people dancing to no K-pop music. Like, that has nothing to do with what I clicked on. So, anyway, oh, wait a second. She might just reply. Nah, nah, false alarm. It's just my, um, it's just another tweet blowing up. It's it's the tweet about the man eating uh, buttocks and stuff on, on camera and stuff. And so, anyways, then I said, are you not hearing what I'm saying? Your videos have nothing to do with the trend. I said, and I said that with all caps. Then I said, just because nobody likes K-pop videos doesn't mean you got, you guys got to push off, push those videos off on the other stuff. And then she said, I'm not hearing because you're typing. Then that's why I was like, okay, now I'm dealing with a child. And so I said, how old are you? And then she said, old enough to know how to use grammar. And then, yeah, I think she was referring to my tweet when I said listened instead of listed. But I'm like, lady, there are some times where I was reading your tweets and I'm like, what, what did she, did she wait a minute what like I, I had to like look at it a couple of times but anyways maybe that was just me i don't know but then i said but not old enough to realize you ain't a kid anymore and nobody doesn't care about k-pop 
And so, yeah, I was just going in on K-pop and things. And then she said, if nobody cared about K-pop, you wouldn't be tweeting and dedicating your account to hate on it, LMAO. Like, she really thought she cracked the joke by putting LMAO at the end of it. But I'm like, don't nobody care about K-pop. I'm just tired of seeing it every time I click on something. Like, I just, I want to click on that one thing to see that one thing. Not to see some random people dancing and stuff. So, then I said, low, yes, but the one with the fake profile picture and a bunch of videos of people dancing, grow up fam. Referring to her account because, yeah, if you go to her account and things, I'm positive that she's not the woman in the photo. And all of the tweets that she had, yeah, it, um, she, so she, uh, did, she did get me on one. She was, like, retweeting a bunch of other K-pop videos and things. So I didn't actually see any tweets. Actually, you know what? No. I take that back because the first three tweets that she sent me were k-pop videos so technically technically her tweets are about k-pop videos all right so anyways yeah so i said uh then no she said um uh quote unquote fake profile then uh, then she was like i'm actually helping a lot of fans campaign to help global warming and hurricane De um devastations in my state but apparently you care so much about fan cams because that's all you looked at grow up fam wow she hit me with my own thing okay so exp I, that's what i'm trying to figure out explain to me what does a video of some teenage boy in some k-pop group dancing what does that have to do with hurricane devastations if you're trying to raise awareness to hurricane devastations, maybe you should post links, okay? Like Red Cross and all that stuff. Post links so people can donate to those uh, like organ like organizations and all these like other groups that can actually help these people. But K-pop videos, people dancing, that's not helping anybody. If I was in Florida right now, if I was in Florida and I was given two things to help me, a video of some random person dancing or supplies, housing, okay, a place to live, a place to stay. I would take that. Actually, you know, no, I'll take the K-pop videos because I guess that's more important than anything else. Then, um, like it's man, that's what I'm like. I'm like reading these tweets, and I'm like, I'm I'm actually like getting a little irritated. I'm like, this girl, she's like, I. Anyway, so what I say, read going back to the tweets. So I said, how when you post dancing videos, you're promoting something that has nothing to do with what you just said. And then she said, I barely post fan cams, LMAO. I only do it to get locals mad. I So she first she said it to get views, and now she's doing it to get locals mad. I'm not local. You just said you did it to help hurricane devastations. When was the last time a hurricane happened in Washington State? Let, 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 me, let me Google that. Hurricane in Washington State. Is this is when windstorm that struck the West. So Columbus Day, uh, Columbus Day storm of 1962, Great Coastal Kill of 2007. Well, I think I remember that. Yeah, I think I remember. No, I so well. It wasn't. What would that be considered a hurricane? I remember that. That was crazy. Lowest pressure is hundred and forty. I think I remember that windstorm. But there is like, but they're like, all right. So two thousand and seven, nineteen sixty two. All the other hurricanes, like I guess if that is considered a hurricane and stuff. But oh, did I get rid of the tweets? No, I didn't. Okay, so anyways, I'm like, yeah, last time I think I dealt with like a windstorm or like a hurricane type di um, disaster type thing. It was like when I was in the fifth grade. I was 10 years old. That was 13 years ago. Okay, now it's like, yeah, it wasn't even, I wouldn't really consider it like a hurricane and things. I don't know. Like it was like a crazy windstorm and stuff, but I'm like, you, I, that, that's just to prove that we're not local. We don't like live next to each other and things. And so, oh. Nah, false alarm. I thought I got another tweet from her and things. But anyways, um, then she said, uh, I only do to get locals mad. It's fun. But anyways, help us clean the earth. We already cleaned the beach for our fave's birthday. 
what what is she like what does that even mean and so she said that and so i say you like low you barely post but you got a whole profile dedicated to it and things so i said low okay and then uh yeah because i'm like yeah she's all talking about she barely posts and stuff and i'm like you go to her profile and it's just nothing but k-pop videos and there's like all tweeted recently and stuff so anyways and we go ahead get rid of this notification because it it fooled me again and so then she replied saying we are talking about fan cams all i do in this account is retweet lmao all she does on that account is retweet but you're tweeting me so i'm gonna play that little kid role i like but you're tweeting me they like you you uh yeah you're you're making tweets you're the one that's typing them nobody else isn't unless you got somebody else making your tweets yeah i, I can be a kid too so I said, "Low, sure." And then she said, "You don't even know what to say anymore, which is sad. Last thing I'm going to say, you're not changing anyone's mind by being rude to them, liking music in other languages doesn't make you less of a person. I never said that." Then uh, she said, "Having an account to show your dedication as a fan isn't something bad." Okay. Now, I can understand that, all right? If you have an account a fan page for somebody out there like my i had to say my favorite rapper kendrick lamar so if i made a fan account dedicated to kendrick lamar i'm going to be posting about kendrick lamar i'm not going to post about hurricane dorian and then post a her um kendrick lamar uh dancing underneath because it wouldn't make any sense People would be like, why would you do that? If anything, I would do, if Kendrick Lamar had made a tweet talking about how sad these hurricanes are, I will post that. And then just be like, prayers out to the people out in Florida that is dealing with this hurricane right now. But I will not be all like, oh, the only hurricane we care about is Kendrick Lamar's album that was fire. And then it's a Kendrick Lamar dancing. Do you understand how cringy that is? Do you understand how dumb that is? It will make it will make no sense whatsoever. So uh, anyways, then, yeah, then she said that. Then she said, having to go through the same bullying, BS, and racist slurs towards you and your face is hard. And y'all and find it funny because they're only jokes. But we are the bad ones because we post videos in the public social media. Have a little love to other people. Okay, because she's making it seem... You are putting yourselves out there to get bullied. Alright, first off. And you're, yeah, you're over here talking about racial slurs. Alright, I ain't, did not say one racial slur to you. So I have no idea what you're talking about on that. And then, uh, then she was alright because they're only... Y'all find it funny because they're only jokes. I don't find K-pop videos funny. I don't find... I'm like, I feel a certain way when I watch them. I don't want to watch K-pop videos. I don't even want them to be on social media. I mean, if they are, have it on the fan page. But if they're, like, talking about something that has absolutely nothing to do with K-pop videos, then, yeah, I'm going to snap on you and stuff. Because it's... Oh. The uh, false alarm. I thought I thought I had gotten um a tweet. I'm I'm hoping that she tweets because I'm like, bro, I'm about to read that crap out loud. But anyways, yeah, I'm like, them videos have nothing to do. So it's like, yeah, you're putting your you're putting yourself out there to I guess get to get jokes towards you or to get bullied and things, all this other stuff. And I'm like, yeah, it's just it's dumb. Like understand that, but anyways then yeah she said that then i said i show love the people all the time but when you post misleading bs yeah you're gonna have some people upset about it you can say which you can say what you are going to say without some teenage kids dancing you're claiming you're doing it for views but that's not the way then she was like we literally I think did she make some tweets after that i thought she did oh okay so yeah, then she... Oh, I think, okay, so she was just replying. Oh, okay, so she did, like, separate tweets. All right, so reading off her last few tweets, and she said, we literally got fan cam to 30 million views, and locals deleted it, but okay. Like, who cares? Freaking PewDiePie just hit 100 million subscribers and things. Like, okay, um, what else? There are other followers. Lel Hansen, she's a YouTuber. She just hit a million subscribers. What other crap? I gained 2,000. I went and checked my social blade. I gained 15 subscribers and 2,000 um, views, okay? But you don't see me posting dancing videos of random people because I did that. 
I don't like, okay, yeah, numbers is numbers, but it's like that doesn't even matter when you're over here posting videos that have absolutely nothing to do with the situation, okay? Like, she's trying to get, like, off subject, bringing up other stuff, and I'm like, no, I'm trying to figure out overall why are you doing this? What's the reason? Yeah, you said it's for views, but I, I don't know. My thing is, it's like, I want to get to the root of the answer. Like, she said it was for views, but I'm like, I know there has to be more behind it. There has to be more. I'm like, I'm trying to get this person to just admit to everything. I'm trying to have them, like, Chunk in the Goonies when he just started admitting to everything when they were about to blend his hand. That's how I want to see people, okay? But, yeah, with her, it's like, bro, what are you talking about? But, anyways, then, uh, then she said... Okay, then she was just like, literally nobody is posting anything under the hurricane hashtag. If that's the case, then people shouldn't post gifts because they're unrelated. She said, quote unquote, unrelated. What are you even talking about? So, okay, going back to one of the tweets, um, tweets that she was all like, she said, where's that tweet at? Because she linked me some account. Yeah. But anyways, help us clean. No, wait, that ain't it. Yeah, oh, okay, so she was like, I'm actually helping a lot of fan camps and help global warming and hurricane devastations. She, she, did she, did she just said, she just said, nobody um is not posting other than hurricane hashtag. Hurricane, all right, if it was trending, all right, and you go and click on it, and then they see your tweet because you're posting about it, there, that means that it's underneath that hashtag. I don't think she knows how social media and the internet works because she's so busy posting dancing videos. And then she said, we own Twitter. If it is so hard for you to understand locals don't own hashtags, then Twitter isn't for you. And then I think, what did I say? I feel like I said more. That's hard for you to understand. Maybe the internet. Oh, okay, so yeah, then I, I think after that, I had said, all right, so at some point in time, I had said, if that's hard for you to understand, then maybe the internet ain't for you. Then that's when she said, we own Twitter, and if it's so hard for you to understand, locals don't own hashtag, then Twitter isn't for you. Then uh, I said, lo, you and your little group don't own Twitter. You guys just don't know how to use it. Create a subreddit and post your um, your, your poo-poo on there and things. I said a different word, but I'm just keeping it clean for the kids and stuff. But anyways, yeah, just like, does anybody understand how I feel? Like, don't nobody care about these K-pop videos. So when I click on a hashtag and see them, I tend to feel a certain way because I'm like, this is not what people need to see. If we're talking about hurricanes, talk about hurricanes. If we're talking about um, K-pop videos, then leave the K-pop videos for that. But, like, man, y'all trying to push K-pop videos off onto everything. Don't nobody care about those K-pop videos, man. So, I'm like, honestly, listen, if there's, like, if a K-pop fandom um, group, whatever you want to call it, if they hate on me, I'm so prepared for it. Because I know for a fact I can shut down every single one of these K-pop fans. I know I can because they honestly, they talk about nothing. I felt like that they got on the social media only to post these videos. But they overall, they don't know how to handle situations. They don't know how to argue with people. They don't know anything. They only know these K-pop videos. That's it, okay? They probably don't even know the name to these guys. They just see these random K-pop videos and they're all like, oh, let's just share these videos around, all right? Probably have no idea who, no idea who these guys are and stuff, so... Anyways, yeah, I'm like, man, these K-pop videos is annoying. Like, bruh, don't nobody care about them and stuff. So, what else can I talk about? Um, There's this game I'm playing called Wreckfest. That game is, excuse me, that game is pretty good. I was playing that game earlier today. I made a couple of videos on it. For That's that's one of my other channels. I got a gaming channel. I just want to let you guys know, like, all the videos that I've been posting, okay, just in this, like, past, like, three-day weekend. So, Friday, I think I had posted a crap ton of, um, gaming videos. And then Saturday, I posted a crap ton of, uh, um, videos on my main channel. And then, uh, well, actually, was it Thursday night? No, it was Friday night, I think. And then yesterday, Sunday, um, uh, alright, so, Friday, gaming videos, Saturday, um, videos for my main channel, Sunday, then, like, 15 memes for, uh, my meme channel, and then, uh, today, I just, like, yeah, I was mainly recording and things, I was gonna record more videos, but I'm like, nah, let me get all these other videos out the way, 
and then uh, focus on these videos. Then I worked on a uh, music video. It was like a Grand Theft Auto V uh, music video. But I was going to make another song um, with it. But uh, yeah, I yeah, it was um song. Like, so no, the program I was using started messing up. And I went and added like this um, serial key to it. And then they were all like, oh, you can't save or you can't add sounds to it. You got to use the default sounds. And so I'm like, that's so stupid. Like, that's, I looked up online. They was like, my thing cost $100. You mean to tell me I can't add sounds to it? And that thing cost $100? I was using FL Studios. People, do not buy FL Studios. Because if they're going to do stuff like that to you, rob you out of your money, now I got to pay more money and things to go. That is the dumbest thing ever. That's seriously dumb. I'm thinking about I should make a video about that and raise awareness to that. Like, before you buy anything from FL Studios, make sure you know what you're getting and stuff. Because I found that so stupid and things. I'm like, I paid money for the um, sounds that I want to add on to here and things. And I'm like, you guys not allowing me to. I'm like, then what's the point of even making music then if I can't even make it? And I'm like, that's how I make music and stuff. Like, all the, like, man, like, all the recent songs I made, I had no, I should have just, that's what I should have just, I should have just made the song right then and there. I shouldn't have saved, I shouldn't have did nothing, all right? Just made the song right then and there and things. But, anyways, yeah, I just found that so stupid and stuff. But, so I had went and used my song Pluto for this music video. I think it turned out okay, but I overall would have wanted the um, concept. Because I haven't even created the song yet, but I had the concept of what I wanted. Like, I seen what I wanted within this song, and I seen that I wanted it to have, like, because the song was going to be called Possessed. And overall, I will come out with the song called Possessed, and it will sound dope. And I might just make, like, a separate video. It might be, like, a part two to, like, Pluto, the Pluto music video and stuff. But, um, yeah, I'm, like, uh, eventually I will, like, I will do that and things. But, yeah, for now, I'm, like, I just want to focus on the stuff that I got currently, get that all out of the way, clear up some space on my laptop, um finally post these podcast episodes on youtube and yeah just do a bunch of different crap i'll probably be busy this week with youtube but um yeah that was like what what else uh freaking yeah the music video and then the memes and i've made a tyrone magnus meme for those that don't know who that youtuber is i posted that meme um uh, what other things that have i done i've done a lot i've done a lot i actually plan on working on some more videos actually i need to do where's my where's my bandana at because i need to no i need to make this uh shoe review video so i'm gonna end this podcast make this shoe review video real quick and uh hurry up get it out of the way because i've been pushing it off i kept saying i was gonna do it and i never did dang it that messed up my scarf it was perfectly fine I, nope no i didn't mess it up okay so yeah Did i say scarf i meant bandana all right i don't wear a scarf i wear bandanas and wave caps i will never wear a scarf unless it's around my neck that's about it i should buy a scarf for the winter because scarves for the winter bro I remember I think I had one when I was in school. I felt like, I like, not only did I feel like a G, not only did I feel like a savage, but that scarf kept me warm. I might, yeah, I might just do it. I might buy me a scarf this, uh, this, um, this year. Man, go and, uh, wear it, tuck it around my neck, get me, I should, should I wear, I think I should wear, like, I should, well, dang, should I start back wearing my beanies again? Because I do have some beanies I can wear. I probably had to get like a big one and stuff, but like, ooh, I wonder if they got like waterproof beanies, cause I seriously I will wear that and then I'm gonna look. I want it waterproof. I'm gonna look it up, cause waterproof beanies. Oh, they got like, wait, North Face, North Face has it. S wait. Cool weather beanie hat, but is this like? Is this like? Can I buy this at a store somewhere? That's the question. Thirty-five dollars. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. That is not bad. Ooh, they do have them at Dick Sporting Goods store. What's up? What's up? Wait a minute. What? Oh, that's out in Tugwilla. I was like, what's a red? Like, they, it's the name of this store is R-E-I. 
I'm like, bro, what kind of name is that? But when the time is right, then yeah, I'm gonna probably actually no. Available nearby. Okay, so yeah, they Alright, so yeah, when it ooh, and they cheaper too. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'll probably I'll I'll look for the when the time is uh right and stuff, I'll probably go out and buy it and things. Dang, I clicked on Twitter and they're all like or I clicked on the the explore part of Twitter. They said Popeye's employee held at gunpoint over sold out chicken sandwiches. Bro, I'm saying man, these chicken sandwiches are cr that's the second time I didn't heard somebody get robbed for some food. Or held at gunpoint for some food. I remember there was this old story I heard. And I be telling people that story all the time. Where uh, this guy. So these people got like a bucket of chicken. This car darted out in front of them and stopped. Guy got out the car with a shotgun. Talking about you know what time it is. Give it up. And I, Yeah I think that's what he said too. That's exactly what he said. And uh, I'm like I don't even know how I would react. If I was getting robbed. For a certain item like I'm like bro listen okay like cuz I'm like if that's the case this man gonna rob me for some chicken I'm like bro listen we're sold out like but please like you can take any I will make you I will personally make that food myself I will make you any other food but just you gonna shoot me over a chicken sandwich that's some crazy stuff man the fact the fact that you have the money to go out and buy a gun because I know what, how much, I don't even know how much them chicken sandwiches are. But I know that they're, I know for a fact they're cheaper than a gun. You mean to tell me, you're going to, sp you're going to waste, you're going to risk it. You're going to risk yourself going to prison over a chicken sandwich. I, man, I don't even know how to react to some stuff like that. I wouldn't even, I would be mad with myself if I got caught. Like, if I, if I was that crazy enough to do some stuff like that, I'm going to rob Popeye's for a chicken sandwich and I got caught. I like, well, I'm like, I definitely, I mean, I, I don't do drugs. I don't smoke weed or anything. But I'm like, I had to, I was just like, yep, drugs, that's that's the only reason why I would do some stuff like that. Drugs. And I'm like, that man, I, that man definitely had to be on drugs. Did he get caught? Group of people with gun. Group of people Okay, so what I'm reading, they say a group of people with guns rushed Russia's door at Popeye's Chicken on Scott and Corton. They wanted the chicken sandwich, said employees. Employees were able to lock them out. That's some crazy group of people. Uh, oh, my God. That is some crazy stuff, man. They said... They skipped the register, didn't ask for access to the safe, and didn't want anything belonging to the staff or customers. A strong arm robbery over chicken sandwiches. That is some crazy stuff. I ain't, man, the behavior people be on. I'm like, that ain't even normal. Oh, so they said male. So it wasn't even a group of people. Why they put a group of people? I know, like that's that's what this guy shout out shout out to Andy Paris. What is is that how you say his name? Andy Paris. He's a TV digital print journalist um, for Fox News, I think. That he and he said it better than anybody could have. Okay, hopefully he's saying it for the people in the back too. But he said, remember they don't serve Popeye's chicken sandwiches in jail. Shout out to. Andy Paris, okay, he uh, he knows, he knows, I'm like, because I'm like, that's some dumb stuff to get sent to prison or jail to for some chicken sandwiches, I'm like, it ain't worth it, it is not worth it, okay, maybe some Tyson chicken strips, okay, and not the crunchy kind, the regular kind, the non-crunchy, they, they talking about, they got this new bag out talking about now crunchier than ever or some crap like that, I'm like, nah, if they eliminate that, okay, they don't need to be extra crunchier and things. It's perfectly fine, which y'all were doing before. But anyways, yeah, I, 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 no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't rob. I, I ain't gonna put that out there. I, I will not rob nobody for no um Tyson chicken strips, no chicken sandwiches, no Red Bull, nothing. Okay, it, it will, it will. The day I reach that low. I'm like, I just, I, I wouldn't even want to be, I wouldn't even want people to look at me. I will probably cry. 
I will honestly probably cry if I did some stuff like that. Cause I'm like, I'm not, I'm not normal anymore. What happened to me? But anyways, no, I'm gonna end this podcast. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for listening. If you're viewing this on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe. If you are viewing this on a podcast streaming service, make sure you follow or subscribe, however it's set up on that service. And um, if yeah, if you are purchasing tickets from SeatGeek for the first time, make sure you use my promo code TMOSBOSS, T-M-O-S-S-B-O-S-S, spelled the same exact way it is in the uh, title of my podcast. Make sure you use my um, promo code, knocks $20 off your first purchase. So, anyways, and that being said, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening, and peace.